Hi, Mark here from the Tangibound Podcast Network and host of the flagship show, The Tangibound Podcast. Did you know that we over at Tangibound are always looking for amazing podcasts to promote? And did you also know that we are also proud nerds and geeks of everything from movies, music, gaming, TV shows, and comic books to wrestling, MMA, soccer, and football? Whatever you can nerd or geek out about, we've got it. And if you're interested, we can help you find it. And if you're a show looking for a place to call home, we've got you covered. Side effects may include upset stomach, dizziness, tumors, shakes, and in some rare cases, death from excessive laughter. Though to be fair, it's only sometimes. Other side effects may include diarrhea, gallstones, heart palpitations, and strong desire for cookies on the dark side. Talk to your doctor and visit TangiboundNetwork.com and see if Tangibound Network is right for you. This is a Danger Entertainment Podcast. DangerEntertainment.net Danger Entertainment Podcast Network Hello and welcome to the Moving the Needle Podcast where we ask What moves you? Excellent or bogus? Did anyone do the right thing? Do you mess with the Zohan? With me tonight to discuss Do the Right Thing, Rocky versus Creed, childhood guilty pleasures, a test of time, you don't mess with the Zohan, once upon a time in Hollywood. With me tonight is Stephanie. Hello. Roy. Hello. And Heno. Yo. We want to thank you for listening on iTunes. We're also available on Spotify, just about everywhere you can find podcasts. We are, so come on now, Google Let Play. Let us know. Email us at mtnpodcast at gmail.com or, or on facebook.com slash mtnpod. Twitter and tweet us at mtnpod. There's so many ways to find us. To the podcast from Temperance Town, the sexiest podcast of world renowned. Tony grows a beard to hide his chin, swabs it with Earl, so it glistens. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. Download the pod, you won't get enough of these dapper chaps talking deadly fluff. In Hobo Gulch, they run a homeless mission, clanging and banging with a pentagram of kittens. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. They enjoy their whiskey and local craft beer. By Odin's on Campubis, we give a cheer. Tony's a raccoon when he's booziest. Don't be a savage, be an enthusiast. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. On the frozen tundra, they call it a lock. Tony likes to masturbate in a sock. Brian pisses rocks cause it feels so great I still don't know who the fuck is Tate Salty, salty language Kings of the sexy frontier The boys will let you know when there's a Due to male pattern baldness They don't wear curlers Stay salty people, that's their closing line And don't forget Have a beer, you'll be fine Salty, salty language Kings of the sexy frontier Salty, salty language Kings of the sexy frontier Salty Hey, enthusiasts, what's happening? This is Salty Language, episode 451. Sexiest podcast currently quarantined on the network. <laughs> well, that's like all of us now, right? Uh, I it's mean, within reason. Not officially. <laughs> I mean, and I don't know, man. There was a presser today that really looked like the president wants to ease the restrictions, which is real dumb i mean i get it for you know the concept of you know they don't want the economy to come to a grinding halt but also we we don't want 
you know tons of people to die here so i don't i don't know but yeah i don't really i mean i get that too like yeah. the economy is important and shit sure. but i mean i know it should I don't be think everyone's gonna die but no no we're all dying don't we? <laughs> i mean why uh why take the chance yeah well i saw yeah. you know officially at, well as of tonight we're recording on monday here uh, as of tonight at, was it 1201, I'm, you know, I'm now officially in a lockdown state. So, right. You know, and I know Ohio is sort of in a lockdown, like the department of health has been like, you know, kind of basically put the stay at home thing in place. And the governor is pretty much like, make sure you listen, <laughs> you know, but I yeah. don't. I don't know if he's officially, like, you know, put his foot down, <laughs> you know. Yeah, right. I, I mean, honestly, he probably should. I, I don't know what any governor's waiting for. Like, you know. Yeah. But anyway, I don't want to do a whole show on this. I mean, obviously, it's going to come up because literally you can't have a conversation with anybody right now and not talk about this because yeah. it's all a lot of us are thinking about. Yeah, exactly. It's, I mean, it's, well, it's affecting, obviously everybody yeah in some in some fashion it's affecting everybody yeah you know I, I gotta stand on my soapbox for a quick minute here and uh i posted a tweet a few days ago because the thought just popped in my head and uh it's this is a situation where seriously everybody now understands a little bit of what it's like to have anxiety and depression Right. Because everybody's anxious about what's going to happen, blah, blah, blah. Right. Like, and when you have anxiety, basically your brain is constantly telling you falsehoods. Like, you know, like generally like, or like me being, you know, agoraphobic also, it's like my brain is going, don't go out. It's danger out there. Right. Right. And now the news is going, don't go out. It's danger out there. My brain's going, <laughs> see, I've been telling you for years, you know, so. Y'all thought I was crazy. Yeah. But I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the crazy one now? Um, <laughs> but you know what I mean? So, and with depression, it's like, you know, you, you just don't have the energy to really go do anything. And it's like between the two, you kind of can't right now, you know? Right. Uh, because of what's going on. So, like I said, you know, it's a good learning opportunity for people to kind of maybe be more, uh, show more empathy towards people who suffer from these conditions going forward because mm. everyone can get a little taste of it now. It sucks, doesn't it? It sucks a bunch. And, and you know, and there's more to depression and anxiety. I'm not trying to minimize those things, but it this is one of those few times that, you know, like I obviously I would never wish either of those things on people. They're horrible. I wouldn't do that. Right. But, you know, it's kind of like Excedrin. I don't know if you remember a few years ago, they had a commercial where they had these, um, it was like a set of goggles or something that they had somebody put on. And basically it would kind of give you the effect of, of what it's like when people suffer from like migraines. What did it like squeeze their head? I, no, something? it didn't do it didn't do that part, but it, it, it just starts constricting. I think it, it gave you know, it, I don't remember exactly what it did. Um, probably but, like you know, lots of bright ass lights, yeah, like, right, but, like dialed right, right into your pupil, and then you know, like people putting them on and were like, oh, geez, and it's like, yeah, I deal with that a lot, you know, and I'm like, oh, I wish I could get a pair of those to have people try on just to kind of again, not that I wish migraines on anybody again. They're or just terrible. get a pair just to hang out oh, and be in pain. Dude, can you imagine? Like, we're all, you know, like when we used to just sit around getting drunk, just putting those things on, trying to play a video game or do whatever. Hey, bro, it's the only thing that gets me off now. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, hey, can you help me out? I'm going to need you to hit me in the head <laughs> while we're doing this, too. I need the pain, baby. <laughs> Oh, man. So anyway, you know, I'll step off the soapbox now, but it is, it's a good, good teachable moment. You know, if you're a parent and you have kids, this is a great opportunity to teach them empathy toward people with these conditions a little bit too, you know, cause this is rough for, so, you know, we talked last time about introverts and, you know, like we talked on the crazy life a little bit about how this is affecting people with OCD because, you know, there's one of the ways OCD can manifest is, a you know, it's compulsive, right? And right. from what I, I listened to, uh, 
uh, mental illness happy hour with a woman who's an OCD expert. And she was talking about how basically what OCD does is whatever is important or biggest in your life, that's what you obsess on, essentially. Mm, Fair enough. So, like, right now, what are we constantly being told aside from stay in? Yeah. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Right? Don't touch your face. Yeah. So, you know, people can then obsess over the whole washing their hands then the compulsion part of it you're washing your hands a million times a day and it's like you know so anyway you know just and and just in general i mean hell we we all we all need to show some empathy you know this oh yeah because this is kicking everybody's ass yeah it sucks yeah there's there's nobody really uh you know exempt here so no matter what these dumbass young people think going to spring break and now Various ones are testing positive because yeah, fuck you, kid, and enjoy it. I yeah, you know, I'm I'm gonna be a dick about that. Like, I really almost feel like we should just throw them in an isolation tank and just give them some bread and water every day and be like, suffer, you know, like <laughs> yeah, like we told you to not do these dumb dumb things, and y'all are out posting videos doing shots off each other's asses at spring break. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In, enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. This is I called, totally, you know, I, I'm there. Read, I'm in. If there's no COVID going around, right, I'm in. I'll right. be down. I'll be doing a shot. Yeah, listen. Too. Sure. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I'm I'm down too, but yeah. But, you know, if this shit's going around, it's, I'm good. Yeah. No, like, thank I, you. I want to mire because, you know, I, like Michelle, she's her, she's got a compromised immune yes. system. Yep. So she's like staying in. You know, re- from home, really, really in. quick. It yeah. is amazing how many people. I know that are like, yeah, so and so in my household has this, blah blah blah, that I didn't know about, and uh, it's like, oh, oh, fair enough. you know, and when you listen to that, you're like, holy shit, you know, because yeah. again, when you take that step back and stop thinking about just you, when you start thinking of people around you, it's like, oh my god, just being around that person could lead to, you know, like you, you right. know, you know. So anyway, sorry. So you know, she's staying in. Yeah, and she's going crazy. Sure. As one I, I to actually do. told her today, I'm like, go for a drive. She's like, oh, yeah, I guess I could do that. Yeah, <laughs> like, there's yeah, a just... there's a lot of people going out for walks, you yeah. know? Cause, well, because it's been so know. cold out. No, I understand. Plus, yeah. we had, what, but, snow uh, yesterday and then rain last night that yeah. washed all the snow. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. talk about the weirdest weather ever. I got up at <laughs> 3 something in the morning to go to work, you know, yeah. Friday, because it's my stupid early day and I have to be at work. Yeah. Walked outside and I was like, Jesus! Because it was like sixty-five degrees yeah. outside at four yeah. in the morning. By the end of the night, we had snow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like, what is happening? Really quick. You know, by like, the end of the night and by by morning, like you said, we're talking stupid early in the morning. And by night, I'm meaning basically almost the same time. Like, like no joke. I walked out of my door to go to my car at, at four in the morning, and I took yeah. my hoodie off and my hat off. Yeah. And I was like, this it feels so nice out. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Rub. And then I, and then I walked into work in just a t-shirt. When I left work, I was like, "Oh, right." I saw <laughs> someone post on some social media outlet about you know how in this area it's like, "Oh, great, we're supposed to you know fever is one of the um, the symptoms of COVID," and it's like, "But we live in an area where it's like sixty and then thirty, so how are you not supposed to feel like you have you know the chills or a fever?" <laughs> I mean, accurate. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. But, I but, but totally yeah, so derailed. I you know I've been the one going out and like. Yeah, picking up groceries and yes. all that shit. Yep, same. And I, I went to Meyer on I don't know what day it was. Probably Sunday. Yeah, it was Sunday. That was right. the day the whole like you know we're getting under lockdown tomorrow came out. Oh yeah, right. And I was just looking for like you know, she was looking. She want. She was hoping I could find like disinfecting wipes. Oh pff, yeah, because you know because she's also does a real estate thing. And she's like, sure. if I go somewhere, it would be cool if I could wipe stuff down. I'm mm-hmm. like, yeah, I get that. Yeah. No, nothing. No, I, I, like, so I'm like, so I was like, hey, you know, in the, in the odd chance I can't find anything, find a recipe for DIY disinfectant. Yeah. So she sent me all the stuff. Mm. Rubbing alcohol. No. Nope. Gone. Yep. Completely cleared out. Yep. Like, was, and it, that was the first time. We're, we're in the like. Gone to the grocery store. <laughs> I'm just there to get food. Yeah. And typically, the food that I buy is not the the hoarder food. Right. You know, so yeah. I haven't had any issues going right. to the grocery store yeah. until that day where I was like, oh, okay, no, no wipes. So I was like, well, let me go, let me get some seltzer water because I enjoy a little seltzer. Yeah. The whole water aisle was just shelf. Oh, they didn't even have like flavored? 
Well, they did. It was oh, in a different okay. area. It oh, was in like okay, an okay. end cap thing. But I, I was going to say Kroger. A couple. I was like, what is happening? Kroger, when we were there, actually had a couple of just seltzer water 12 packs. I was really surprised. I figured those would be gone, too. Yeah. Um, but otherwise the only water they had was either like smart water type bottles, you know, the $3 a bottle type bottles oh, or, yeah. Yeah. um, or flavored water. That was all they had. Uh, that, that was literally the first time that it's been like the hoarding of the people are doing and the panic affected my shop. Yeah. Right. Well, it's funny because on a lot of this stuff, you're down to like, like for, here's a good example, right? First people hoarded bread. Well, when there was no bread. A lot of people go, no big deal. I'll make my own. So flour went poof, you know. Yeah. Now flour's all gone at a lot of the stores. So, you know, it's like now I actually saw, like, my mom and I were actually, like, she was looking at, like, Bisquick. And we were looking at, like, mixes that don't require flour. Right. You know, kind of a concept. But, you know, when we went to the store the other day, it was like, they they had tons of bread and tortillas. And I'm like, if they don't have bread, but they have stacks of tortillas, I'll just buy stacks of tortillas. Uh, I, I mean, you know? I, I saw a, an article or something that the guy who, the CEO of Kroger's is like, we have tons of food. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm not worried about the no, whole food being I, going away. Thing. I'm not either. And that's the thing. Like yeah. you, like I went to, um, like I said, I went to Kroger the other day and uh, it actually wasn't that bad. Like it was a little busier than normal. The weirdest part is, I mean, other than just empty shelves, you know, like there was no, basically most of the canned vegetables, ravioli type stuff, soups, that stuff was still pretty well cleared out. Um, but, um, you know, they had no like American cheese and most of the other cheeses were pretty well picked over. You know, they had almost no butter. They were low on milk and eggs, but they still had some. They had tons of bread, though. I mean, tons, right. tons of bread. And the the tortilla aisle looked like no one had even touched it, which to me was, like, perfect. And I just grabbed, right. I grabbed like, you know, multiple packs of that. Because you can freeze those, you know, too. Oh, yeah. And because they're flat, they don't take up tons of volume in your freezer, you know. Right. Whereas a loaf of bread takes up bigger real estate. So, anyway. But well, I mean, the weirdest part but, to me is seeing people walking around with like the masks, scarves, gloves. Yeah, that gloves. Was gonna say that the amount of masks I saw oh, people walking God, around so with full gloves on or yeah. pushing carts with just their sleeves. Yeah, or or pulling up like their their hoodie, like pulling up the yeah. front of it. Like oh, up I should over... want my tactical scarf. <laughs> that would have been the time. Well, the thing is, the time. I don't think most of the people doing this stuff realize that. I don't know. That doesn't help. Well, you the the problem with any mask glove situation is you have to use good removal protocol otherwise you've kind of compromised the whole point of it, you know. Yeah. Like I saw a woman as we're walking up to the store, I saw a woman who had a face mask pulled and I watched her pull it down below her mouth and then put it back up when she went into the store and I'm like, "Lady, that doesn't do like you just compromised your own mask yeah, like, you're what? a moron it's like once the mask is on you're not supposed to remove it once you if you do need to move it off you should apply a new mask basically i know masks are right. short supply and stuff and i would much prefer people give those masks to medical professionals uh, but... yeah exactly anyway whatever but, whatever makes people yeah. feel better in a way i'm kind of okay with right now you know, mm, fair enough. Aside from hoarding like that, because that yeah, hurts other ridiculous. people. Like if you wear gloves and a, a mask to the store, you ain't hurting anybody. Real, you yeah. know, theoretically. So I'm yeah, like, if you walk out with all the hand sanitizer, you're fucking everybody. I I might attack you. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> not won't. to mention, I, I think it's hilarious that Costco and all, and they're all like, yeah, we're not accepting returns on any of that stuff. Well, they shouldn't. First of all, because you know you don't know if something's got a contaminant on it coming back. I in. just I, just for the principle. No, no, it. I'm totally cool with it. I yeah. love it. I love it so yeah. much because I want the people who hoarded this to be stuck with this for a long time. So. Exactly. No, but the no, the thing that's that's weird for me though is like, because you know, like I said, she's immune compromised, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. I found out today that I'm an essential employee. Right. So just, or through this lockdown, I still have to work. Right. Right. Makes sense, so man. Like, People need windows to survive. Well, I, I looked into it, and it's like one of the things that makes essentials is we feed the construction industry. Yeah, yeah. And like our buddy Garrett's posting our, our our Twitter group, he's like, he's like, man, now the interest is zero percent. Construction is booming. Yep. 
And it is. We're busier than fuck this week. Right. And it's just like, I get it because it keeps yeah. the money flowing. Yep. But I, like, but it, they posted a thing that was basically at the very bottom. It said, if you're uncomfortable working, it's fine. Don't You, know, you don't have to be here. Yeah. But what happens so, if you don't? I got to talk to my HR lady because if people start getting sick, I'm not want to bring that shit home. Right. I well, mean, not to mention she's immune compromised. Leah, when she, I mean, who knows now she's older, but when she was young, young, we had to have her on a little respirator yeah. thingy. Like, yeah. uh, what did that, what do you call it? Uh, when you ionize the chemicals. Yeah. Basically, basically ne- she was baby vaping. <laughs> Nebulizer. Nebulizer. Yeah. yeah. She had to, and so, you know, I don't want to, and this is a very lung heavy thing going on here. Mm-hmm. I don't want to bring that shit home. I honestly, I, I tell people I work with too. I'm like, I don't care if I get it. Yeah. I really don't. Yeah. I've been through some really shitty illnesses before. I'm yeah. sure, you know, not knock on wood. Yeah. If I get it, <laughs> it. It'll suck for a week and a half or so, and then I'll be fine. Right. I mean, I thought I was going to die last or not last winter, the winter before. Yeah. That some yeah. shitty flu that took me out for a week. Yeah. That's the way I yeah. was a, a, a few years ago when I talked, when I mentioned about how we had that really bad flu in the house here and we didn't go through, you know, metric tons of toilet paper. You know, it was like, yeah. We we all got hit and it was bad and that was more of a viral flu in a well sorry not let me rephrase it was more of a stomach flu that wasn't a respiratory respiratory flu but still it was horrible oh, man I was coughing <laughs> a butterscotch for like two months it was horrible <laughs> well let me put it this way there was nothing that solid in my body so <laughs> <laughs> that's how but bad yeah, like, that was I, I, if i get it it sucks but i really don't care yeah. i don't want to bring it no home. i hear you dude i my biggest fear in this yeah. is that i'm going to bring it to my mom or jim you know and like, and I'm so like i'm at this point now where i'm like well unlike a lot of people right now i'm still making money yeah you know and yeah. i kind of need it silver lining right that's about yeah. all you can do yeah and, and and then you know even if they go like hey here here's Government checks are like sweet. That's even more money. <laughs> yeah, right. Nobody. Yeah, exactly. People like us can't have enough money. Like the, yeah. we need. Well, I mean, I don't make any money, but you know, I mean, Brian. Selfishly, I need a new grill. <laughs> I understand. I mean, I I need a switch so I can play me some Animal Crossing. I get it. No, oh I'm boy, well, we'll get into that. Oh, I know we will. We we got yeah. some. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I yeah. So it's like uh, that's the one thing. Like that's my hang up and. Today they've really they've implemented some stuff, like they took a bunch of chairs and shit out of the break room. They're staggering breaks. That makes sense, right? They're uh, you know they're trying to maintain the six feet thing, but honestly, it's really hard to do in my sure. work of what we do. Yeah. Um, and then we're actually leaving a half hour early, which kind of pisses me off a little bit because it's like so we don't mingle with second shift. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna lose two and a half hours this week because of that. Yeah, that's true. And second shift doesn't lose shit, <laughs> so. I mean, that kind of annoys me, but yeah. it is what it is. Wow. Yeah, that, wow. Huh. That's they, interesting. There's no third shift that they have to leave early for. They, they leave, and then we come in a few hours later. They they could have staggered that differently. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, maybe they come in 15 minutes late, and we leave. We, That's you know, what I was saying. That, so everybody yeah. takes the hit? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nah, we just get, we bend over. Or given that they leave, and then a couple hours later you come in, why couldn't they just push their shift half an hour longer or you know push also, it the half an hour the yeah. other way yeah then sure. no, then no one loses any time yeah. yeah nah they don't that's that that's too much logic right yeah right yeah, it's yeah. also you know more more money they don't have to pay <laughs> yeah. but yeah so yeah i'm a i'm apparently essential that feels nice yeah <laughs> i i for sure saw a tweet over the weekend that was 100 percent, you know, like, oh, I got an email saying I'm essential, but a paycheck that says I'm not. I'm like, ah, <laughs> accurate. <laughs> I'm like, if I'm essential, that's what I've been actually telling my coworkers. I'm like, yeah. if we're essential, we should probably be making more money. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah but whatever, it is what it is. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I mean, I'm just happy. I guess I'm, I still have a job. Yeah, exactly. And, and what's going on right now? Yeah. Because yeah. like, I went to Speedway over the weekend. I just grabbed a couple beverages because we're gonna do a little takeout lunch oh i thought you treated were... ourselves a little takeout lunch you know i figured you went there to grab some uh like sandwiches or uh pizza or some fucking tornadoes or whatever <laughs> yeah <those things. laughs> that's they what had they... a big big sign on their window that said displaced by your job speedway's hiring wow they're hiring okay yeah hmm. so, i mean the only place i've seen hiring has been grocery stores so that that's different well i guess people 
people go in there for a lot of people go shop at yeah. Speedway, man. Yeah. I honestly, I didn't think they'd be open. I figured you'd have to. Well, they all don't have a a walk up window kind of thing, so they had the like taped X's on the floor and all that, like sure. to maintain the six feet. And, yeah, <laughs> you know. Well, I guess there's not much else they can do at the moment. No, so. no, yeah. not exactly. It's just it is a weird, weird world right yeah. now. I just assume more people would be making sure they pay via card so they don't have to go in. You know, right. Exactly. Right. That would be my thinking is even though the handles are probably grubby as fuck. I mean, they probably are normally. We just never think about it. You know, Uh, they actually had the door propped open that day. Oh, no, I was meaning like the gas pumps and stuff. That's more more of what I was thinking of. Yeah. It's like even if you don't go in, it's like if you touch those 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 pump handles, you should still probably be like, I don't know, burning your hands. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. Cause who Just knows? Spray gasoline all over your hands. <laughs> yeah. and that'll disinfect it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. Uh, fun, fun. fun. Uh, that might, that might be enough. Co- well, actually, you know what? This is around the subject, of the COVID thing. I got a real quick news story that I saw that just made me laugh. All right. That apparently Americans are crossing the Mexican border to buy toilet paper. <laughs> Hey man, whatever it takes. I saw a dude post a video, one of the like Amazon sellers that I see, and he didn't do this as a way of making money. So I want to make sure no one thinks this isn't like price gouging or anything like that. But he did a video and was like, he showed a thing on his computer where he was like, "Huh, Walmart shows they don't have any toilet paper." He's like, "I bet they do," and I'm going to show you where in the camping section. Oh, apparently that's interesting. They've got quick dissolve toilet paper, and it's probably like half ply. But (laughs) for sure, her fingers are busted through that. You realistically, you have to take the. You know how they um, people who were in the military years and years ago used to tell the the story about how you got two pieces of toilet paper, basically. You know, yeah, and uh, basically you wipe your ass with your fingers and then wipe your hands with the toilet paper. (laughs) And Blitzkrieg, more like Shitskrieg. Yeah, right. I think basically that's what you're doing with this stuff. But anyway, you know, it's made because you know the 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 in the motorhomes and stuff can't break down toilet paper the way others can so it dissolves you know anywho um and it's more expensive you know it's i forgot what it was for like a six pack of it it's it's a decent amount more but i mean if you're hard up you know hard up it'll work and like i said you know so anyone listening if you're that hard up for toilet paper if you got a walmart it's worth checking you know or just buy a attachable bidet once you get the technique (laughs) down not bad. Yeah. That's <laughs> what I've heard. Uh, although I've seen a lot of, they, they've had it on the news and stuff that, you know, uh, they're selling like, the bidets are selling like crazy now. And I'm like, finally, that this is what it took for this country to come around on bidets. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? This is a sort of weird apocalypse where everyone thinks they're going to shit to death, themselves to death, <laughs> but they really just die in their own fluids in their lungs. Right, yeah. So it's like, whatever, man. I mean, um W- yeah. whatever it takes here you know I, whatever I, it takes i listened to a podcast with a uh like a um infectious disease expert guy and he right. basically like when he was talking about the whole toilet paper thing he was like this is so silly and uh he was like we have water like you know basically like you could just rinse your ass <laughs> you know kind of a yeah, yeah. thing <laughs> exactly just hop in the shower real quick right use that sprayer thing in the sink you know whatever it takes that that, that takes too much time apparently <laughs> not not if you normally shit in the sink like i do <laughs> 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 right into the garbage disposal i mean right I mean, why not? That's what the disposal's for, right? That's what I thought, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Then I just lean forward a little bit, spray off, you know? Yeah, yeah it's perfect. Grab, Neighbors aren't really a fan, but right, whatever. Grab a decorative hand towel or a curtain and dry off, and you're, you're fresh as a daisy, you know? Fresh as a daisy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that shit's hilarious. Yeah. Just just the thought of, first of all, shitting in the sink as a whole, as an adult. You know, is a whole, you know, like I'm just picturing you're sitting on it, you're kicking your feet back and forth forward, you know, like yeah, if you look like Elmo, that Elmo gift, yeah. <laughs> what are you uh, doing? Funny. Like, I need to rinse off afterwards. Like, geez, like it could have taken the dishes out. <laughs> 
Oh. <laughs> or not use the clean side. <laughs> <laughs> what, you want me to press my ass against them dirty dishes? That's not sanitary at all. <laughs> Jesus, what do you think? You're not an animal. <laughs> Why well, I do to hover. Right? Oh, man. <laughs> Whew. What a mess. All right. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I think you're right. Let's let's move. Yeah, let's, let's get off a of COVID talk. All right. Well, uh, I mean, you, you saw Kenny Rogers kicked off, right? I did. He uh, the old like joke eight hundred people have made. He uh-huh. definitely uh, knew when to fold them or yeah. whatever. Knew when to walk away. Uh, yeah. Right. I mean, I, I, that's like I've never been a huge Kenny Rogers. I obviously have respect. Yeah. Never been a huge fan, but he does have a little special place in my heart. Because growing up, my aunt used mm-hmm. to watch me all the time when mom was working. Yeah. And she was like, I very distinctly remember always putting Kenny Rogers on the record player. Yeah. So I, I he still holds a special little place in my yeah. heart, that mustachioed bastard. Sure. I mean, dude, who who can forget his, you know, his duet with Dolly Parton, you know? I know, right? That's, that's classic right there, man. It is classic. It's and, classic. And, you know, his empire of fried chicken restaurants <laughs> i mean kenny roger roasters mm-hmm. uh, still much beloved wait a minute <laughs> yeah no ranks are up there with pasta roni yeah. or pasta pasta mania, mania or the fuck yeah. it was called <laughs> hogan's place pasta mania yeah, yeah pasta mania that was it um yeah i'm i'm with you my my mom always really liked kenny rogers so i've heard a lot of kenny rogers catalog so and and there are certain songs that you know still hold a place in my heart. Obviously, I mean, who doesn't like the Gambler, right? I mean, you're not wrong. You know, it was awesome. Um, yeah, it is. I mean, I'll never turn that off. That's, right. I don't know. And I mean, you know, on the kind of yeah. side side part of it, I mean, one of my favorite things on Mad TV was when Will Sasso played drunk Kenny Rogers. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> that was beyond. <laughs> Beyond ridiculous. It was not a good Kenny Rogers impersonation, but the character was great, you know. That's all that's really all that matters. Yeah, so Yeah, it was, you know. But yeah, you know, still sad though. I mean, you know, it kind of a, a, a I don't I, is he I feel like he's an icon, right? But kind yeah, of he's, maybe yeah, not. he's definitely an icon. Yeah, okay. I mean I I mean besides the gambler, I honestly he's gotta have another song I've heard of. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, Islands in the stream. But, yeah, I got a, um, yeah, I can't um, think of another one. Islands in the Stream, Gambler, Coward of the Country. No, I'm, I'm not familiar. Did you know? I'll, I'll I'll be honest. Most of his stuff is going to be this kind of stuff that if I start hearing it, I'm probably going to be like, oh yeah, I remember that. But I'm probably not going to be able to pull the title of pretty much anything. Yeah, I mean. uh but I know no, in like don't know. but I know in like, you know, country music and stuff. I mean, obviously this dude sold a lot of albums. He's he was Oh, this this is the album my aunt used to have. The fuck is this? Kenny Rogers' greatest hits. Oh boy. She wasn't really eclectic at all. <laughs> Let me just buy the greatest hits album. Yeah, right? That's the move. <laughs> it is the move. Yeah. But that is the album. I recognize the album cover. Yeah. I mean it looks like Bob fucking Vila in there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like, what is this? A home improvement thing, or is this yeah. a country album? Little known fact: same person. <laughs> no same person. After he yeah, this old, he kind of walked away from uh, singing and just went into home repair. <laughs> went to home repair. Yeah, yep, exactly. Who knew? Yeah, yeah. I mean, R.I.P. Kenny Rogers, right? Yeah. Why does my phone keep lighting up with nothing? Uh, because I don't know again. Because a- aliens have taken over? I don't know. Aliens. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So so let's uh let's perk this up from there. All right. So I forgot to mention this last week. Oh. And so we're this is a salty callback, kinda? Ah, whatever. Um a couple weeks ago I was gifted a bottle of uh apple juice by uh Genie. Oh, okay. And not just any apple juice, my friend. This is cosmic so crisp apple juice. Oh, uh, that's the thing. Made from 100% cosmic crisp apples. Like, there's basically the, the ingredient list says apple juice. Mm-hmm. doesn't say filtered water, 
sugar, grape juice, blah, blah, blah. It says... I should have said angel tears, I'm assuming. Oh, dude. Dude. It's just like the Cosmic Crisp Apples in that there's a sweetness to it, but it's not overly tart. Is it crunchy? No, it's not crunchy, you silly goose. (laughs) But, uh, oh, man. Chef's kiss, my friend. Oh, yeah? Or as the kids say, this will be a nice comic callback. Bueno. (laughs) Bueno. There's going to be like four people ever that will get that joke, so... I mean, I've just been drinking, you know, spicy water. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm drinking right now from the it, AHA brand. I'm I'm drinking the blue blueberry pomegranate. I've got a couple black cherry boobies on deck after I finished my little bit of bullet rye I got here. Have you had those yet? Oh yeah, they're good. All right. I like I still like picking, the I've been picking up all kinds of boobies. No, no, I I, I got I, boobly watermelon, <laughs> I got boobly pineapple. The the watermelon boobies are everywhere. <laughs> Who doesn't like like a, a you know an ample amount of boobies around? I mean, it's true. No wonder I'm attracted to them. Yeah, it all makes uh, sense. The watermelon's okay. The watermelon from this company, this Aha, they have a lime watermelon that I, I think you're saying wrong. Aha, aha. aha! <laughs> I don't know. I I I am you know on especially when you're aboard a whoop whoop keto train. Mm-hmm. Sparking water is like your best friend. No, no, I understand. That's I've, I've been drinking more of it myself. Um, but kind of thinking, like as I'm drinking, I was like, I wonder if I can mix this with like a little, 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 little adult beverage. It makes some sort of like sparkling cocktail. Because oh believe me, when I was at Myers on Sunday, I was eyeballing hard the hard seltzer. <laughs> I was like, mm, I mean, I gotta stay I might hydrated. Be on the lockdown soon, and then these are like one carb a can as opposed right? to a beer. That's might as well yeah. shove a loaf of bread in there. And you do have to stay Except hydrated. Guinness, oddly enough, it's mm-hmm. very low carb. Yeah, Isn't that crazy. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I remember hearing about that. There's people that are low carbs knocking back the Guinness. Yeah, you can have you, know, you can have a couple Guinness and not mm-hmm. throw off your shit. Yep, that's what I've heard. Or you can have about forty three hard seltzers. <laughs> For ca- carb wise, yeah. Yeah. Carb wise, mm-hmm. yeah, you'll mm-hmm. die of any other ways. But, but you know, there ain't no laws when you're drinking claws, Brian. I I, guess that's what I've been told. I guess I, I think the scientific community would, and the police would definitely disagree with you. But yeah, for sure, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> I don't think that'll hold up in court. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. Uh, you you know what? Now Wait, I look at my notes. What if? What if the ghost of Johnny Cochran was representing you? And he pulled the white hmm. claw defense. I mean, that would be funny if you said, you know, there ain't no laws when you're drinking claw because the rhyme. Right. I think the much like the Chewbacca defense, I think the judge would just immediately be like, case dismissed, my friend. Yeah, dismissed. <laughs> he, he himself rips into a white claw. <laughs> yeah. As, like he's hitting the gavel with one hand and just <laughs> with the other. <laughs> 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 He he just like tears his robe off, like because it's a tearaway robe, of course, and you know because you know laws when you're drinking claws, you know, and he's just like sure. decked out in white claw apparel. <laughs> oh, of course, naturally, totally non biased, totally non biased. Mm-hmm. No, I actually I got one more quarantine nonsense thing to talk about, and then I looked at my notes because I I just made this observation today. Okay. Unfortunately, when I'm on break at work, daytime television's on. It's the worst thing ever. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Half time, I want to pull my knife and dive onto it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You do realize you could just cut the cord to the TV with that same knife. Yeah, but that, I mean, I guess you're right. But, <laughs> but so. Also, if your son's uh, not around and you're not using a proper, you know, instrument, you know, there'll be shame on your family. So, you know. There would be so much shame. Yeah, you don't want to do it that way. If you're going to kill yourself, do it, you know, in an honorable fashion. Have your son yeah, behead exactly. you afterward. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. As is tradition. As is tradition. That's right. No, so Kelly and Ryan was on. Mm. And due to everything going on, they were live streaming to each other. Of course. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And all I could think was like, how do, and I put this on our Salty Language Instagram story, not the actual thing, because I wasn't smart enough to actually capture what was happening. <laughs> but, how does, when we were doing live streaming, did we, in separate rooms, have better audio quality than Kelly and Ryan? That's a fine question, my friend. 
because they should have top of the line equipment. Yeah, like it basically Ryan sounded fine because he had ear pods in. Yeah. So I'm assuming he was using an iPad or I guess an iMac or whatever. Yeah. Kelly was just sitting in the middle of basically sounded like a cinder block room. Yeah. And it's like, how does no one <laughs> like tell her to put a blanket over her head or something? Anything. Yeah. Tell her, you know, set her up in a different room, get her an actual mic. Right. Maybe. And not just yeah. talk at the air like an idiot. Like she's probably just talking into her laptop, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah. And then yeah. later in the day, the stupid view was on, which I hate. Yeah. Yeah. Which I still think at some point we should cover their topics. <laughs> um, right. The view was on and stupid. What's that dumb redhead broad? What's her name? Oh, I don't you know. know. Talk about she's I, like she. Um, oh, yeah, I would say she's super annoying. But we won't really know with that. No, I, I, I don't know who's on that show anymore. So I don't. Well, I don't know. Joy Bear. Oh, Behar. Behar. Okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, so she was doing the same thing, just sitting in a room talking at her laptop. Yeah, it's like oh, what, you guys are millionaires <laughs> for one, yeah. and you're on national television. Yeah, and my buddy Stewart and I. I sit in my basement. You sit in your little computer room you got set up there. Yeah. We have better audio quality than they do. Wow. That's that's amazing. Yeah, you would it's think sad, that sad they were thing. like, hey, we're going to be broadcasting from home, meaning like the network or whatever. Or not the network, but the show people would yeah, be we're like. we're going to send you some equipment. Yeah, we're going to send everybody the same mic so there's a consistent thing. We're going to have someone come to your house and set it up real quick because, oh, well, we'll. we'll teach you how whatever i don't yeah, know we'll however. send you video it's easy yeah basically plug and play yeah i don't understand i just open my laptop and it works joy you'll yeah. be fine i i hate that and uh it's definitely something you're noticing more on uh podcast too um not you know like especially uh or or tv shows like you can always tell like especially like you know anyone who's used skype you can tell the skype sound Right. Oh, yeah. Um, Like our our local news, the weather guys have been doing the weather from their house. Like they're not having them come in. What I think is funny is the anchor people still have to go to the damn news station. But the weather I can do the weather from my basement. I got a green screen. I can say I know that's uh, they're not even (laughs) do. They're not even green screening. What? Like they're just they show a little picture of them from Skype off to the one side. And then they have the bigger Part of the screen you know, is if they could go to a little website called wish dot com, <laughs> they too could get a green screen. <laughs> uh, but it's funny because they don't, you know, <laughs> they don't really need it. You know, you just see the guy talking, and basically, you know, they just show the graphics. It's weird, but at the same time, it's kind of like, yeah, it makes tons of sense. But I'm also like, well, if the like, I I'm still trying to figure out how, like, okay. Why does the anchor person need to go to the network when they literally yeah, could do they Skype, Skype in too? Right, put a put a, a shirt and a tie on or or a nice top if you're, you're one just in of the their ladies. robe. They'll call the shovel. Whatever, I don't care. You know, I'll let it go. Well, it was weird because for a while, Robert Shields, the one weather guy, was wearing a um, meteorologist. I should call him what he is, but um, yeah, he sure he was wearing like professional a professional quack. Well, eh, whatever. That's the profession, you know. Um, I guess. So he was wearing, you know, one of those like quarter zip uh, pullover sweaters, you know, and he would he'd be wearing that for most of them, you know, a little, little business cash, you know, no big deal. Yeah. And it's like, whatever, we're all quarantined. Who cares? Right. But I've noticed the last couple of days that I've seen him, he's in a shirt and a tie. And I'm like, really? Like, I hope they're not making him put a shirt and tie on. I mean, that that was the one thing that kind of made me laugh about the whole Kelly Ryan thing. Yeah. Was she was all dressed up. Yeah. And I'm no Ryan Seacrest fan by right. any means. Right. But he was just in a hoodie and behind him you could see a bar full of booze. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's I was like that's kind of funny. Actually. See, I actually like the fact that this scenario in a lot of ways, because people are doing these things, it's it's making the way people are breaking the wall the fourth wall, I think is actually kind of endearing. You know, because again it shows like, hey, I'm at home. I'm, you know, like the idea of putting a shirt and a tie on to do a five minute weather segment just seems like such a waste. Right. Like, seriously, his his sweater looked fine. You know, like they could have just let him wear his sweater. Maybe it's his choice. Maybe he just feels weird 
you know, because he's been doing it for years, maybe he feels weird, you know, like naked, like that's his uniform, you know, kind right. of thing. I don't know, but it still just kind of made me laugh a little bit how. Well, you, this whole you know, work at home vibe. I mean, I got I got a friend of mine that I I heard a hilarious story about just re, obviously recently because sort of, everyone's sort of working from home. Yeah. Sorry, we're back on COVID. God yeah. damn it. Yeah, we're we are and we're not though. Yeah. Yeah, but they were. Um, she, she was talking to her boss, and her boss was doing all day doing video conference meetings and shit, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, truly not a professional streamer, Brian, because okay. I don't know about you. I always, before, especially when we're going to, like, do our live stream, I always make sure everything in the background looks okay. Mm-hmm. Apparently, he had a giant bottle of KY behind him all day. <laughs> <laughs> I actually I actually think that was on purpose. <laughs> like, all right. Like, he's got a, a bet going with, like, his wife or somebody else that's in the house. Like, all right, how many of these motherfuckers do you think are going to say anything? Like, I got zero. <laughs> What's the over-under? I mean, I, I've met this dude a few, uh, you know, uh, yeah, he could actually be the type to do something like that. But <laughs> I think it'd be really funny, like, right? Like, if you were doing it right now from where you are and you just put, like, some giant dildo stuck on the wall yeah. behind you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and at a weird height, not uh, not mouth level, but also not like <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, yeah, like and not like up on the ceiling. Or yeah, something. some really weird. Yeah, <clears throat> if someone says anything, you should be like, "Oh, that's my light switch." <laughs> <laughs> click, click. Oh <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, but you're you're you are right. The whole like people having to do stuff from home and mm. from it uh, it does kind of it kind of shows everybody's human, right? Yeah. Which is nice. Right. And anyway, it's like watching, yeah. I've I've been watching like WWE's programming and all their shows are from empty arenas now. Which is weird. Well, not empty arenas. It's their, from their performance center in Florida. But they have, you know, they have a dedicated like TV area to it. <clears throat> so there's and no like pop in a crowd or. Nothing. Like they, <laughs> the show runs basically the way they would run the show, they have the, you know, lights and they play the intro songs and everything. The guys still come down the ramps like normal. And, and then they just, they had the matches and, you know, it's so weird. It's so weird to watch, you know, like I've seen some empty arena matches. I'm sure you remember the one with the rock and mankind where the rock beat the holy hell out of him with that chair. Yeah. You know, and, uh, you know, they've done empty arena matches before, but not a whole show. And, and, and to be fair, the whole show usually isn't there. They've been playing like some old matches or doing vignettes or something to kind of, you know, cut it up a little bit. So it's not all empty arena, but they're doing WrestleMania from, from the performance center with no crowd. And they admit it's two nights this year. Wow. That's yeah. So weird. It's going to be so crazy can you imagine like undertaker's entrance is gonna hit and there's gonna be nothing going on in the crowd you know it's gonna be so weird i mean i know they usually take the lights all the way down and you're bong you know whatever but um there there'll be no um shit what do you call it um like no pops of cameras or or not pops but you know the flashes people like wow yeah, when when it's the just, lights come yeah. back up, nothing. It's just gonna be just... weird. Yeah, or like when John Cena comes out, you know. Usually they, you know, he comes out. He, they play his music, and the crowd chants along because his, you know, his music is bum ba da bum. So the crowd's like John Cena sucks, you know, the the whole time. <laughs> and his his, you know, he's like half cheered and half booed. That's all gone. You know, it's gonna be like I said. It's just gonna be so strange. With some of the the stuff, if there's any sort of like a surprise moment or whatever, there's going to be nothing, <laughs> you know. Yeah, right. So it's it's going to be wild. I, and you know, my favorite part, Fluffy Bunny Ash sent me a link. They're sell, WWE selling T-shirts that for WrestleMania, and it actually says on them, "I wasn't there." I mean, I, that's kind of cool. Right that again, bracing it real nice, like breaking that wall a little bit, having some fun with it. Yeah. So. Having but, some fun with it. Like, do you you remember John Morrison, right? Remember, dude, who used to come in Isn't and that had Jim that Jim Morrison's brother. No, well, that's kind of the gimmick was that he's not that he's his brother, but just you know whatever. But you remember he used to come Husband. in and and uh, the the camera work would get real slow mo as he was like posing on the ramp. I don't remember his uh, friend. I don't know how you don't remember it. I've shown you. Anywho, but him and the Miz. Oh wait, 
No, I don't remember. No. <laughs> Him and The Miz are a tag team. And the two weeks so far that there's been empty arenas, they've done great promo work, tr- basically acting like the crowd is still there. I mean, that's pretty funny. Right? Like the week before, they were like, you know, if you can think of a better tag team than us, you know, say it now. And they're just holding their ears around, you know, you know, like Hogan used to do or whatever. And they're like, didn't think so, basically, kind of stuff. You know, like those kind of things. I mean, I like the fact they're embracing the weird. Right? And and because they're heels. by the way, should be our tagline. Embracing the weird? That's probably true. Yeah. Mm. Um... But this week, they did a thing to where they were like, hey, we don't have a WrestleMania. They're the tag champs. And they're like, we don't have a, a, you know, a match at WrestleMania. And they were like, well, I know. Let's ask the crowd who we should go against. And then it's them dressed as, like, another tag team, the New Day. And they're impersonating them. Then they're dressed as a team called the Usos. Then a team called um, Heavy Machinery. So it's, you know, and they're doing, and then the vignette, like, thing shows them talking to themselves and all the things. And then afterwards, the Miz is like, I think it was the Miz, was like, um, yeah, one of, he's like, I don't know who, or he's like, what, something along the lines of, like, what a really good looking crowd, you know, because it's those two <laughs> dressed. <Yeah. laughs> so, <laughs> you know, nice. I was like, that is some fantastic promo work because literally there's, nothing to work with right everything there is generated by you so that's pretty cool you know i heard one guy talking on a podcast uh this one wrestler that was like you know he's like when we're out there working he's like you know the crowd gets you pumped up you get your adrenaline going so when we get hit we don't feel it as much he's like now we don't have that he's like so we're probably actually going to know how bad this profession actually hurts (laughs) oh this sucks (laughs) (laughs) so yeah Fun shit. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I guess uh, it's not just WWE. Like AEW did a show this past week with no crowd, and uh, I guess it was a really good show. I haven't had a chance to watch it yet, but there's a bunch right. of indie shows are are doing it too, and then streaming through their websites or whatever to nice. kind of still give the guy some work. You know, because yeah. otherwise those guys are flat out of money. At least WWE, if they had to shut down, they could. I don't know if they would, but they still could pay their guys. Okay, well, we had to take a quick break there because uh, I, I don't know what happened. I think there was a nuclear strike on Tony's computer. My laptop stroked the fuck out <laughs> is what happened. <laughs> like, I, I don't know what happened. It just was like, meh. <laughs> and, and like I thought it was my TV that I'm using as an extra monitor. I turned that right. off. I was unplugging shit. Your computer it didn't stop until, but the laptop finally powered off. Wow your your computer was basically like, "Hey, you want to hear the most annoying sound in the world?" <laughs> <laughs> That's very accurate. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I mean, you know it's another one of those times where I'm like, I need a new fucking laptop. Yeah, I'm very glad that didn't come through. What's that? I... <laughs> I just trampled all over you what you said. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, it truly was just more of a joke for you and me. Yeah. Oh man. That yeah, I'm I'm so glad that didn't come through though. I didn't hear it. All that happened on my end was I'm like yammer, 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 and then I'm like right or something to that effect, and I just hear nothing. And I'm like, okay. Are you didn't hear anything coming back at you? Nothing. Either? Nothing yeah. at all. It completely went quiet right then and i'm just so i'm talking and you were talking so i'm like okay he can hear me and then after a few minutes i'm sure you realize like when you were like i can't hear Eddie, and i was like oh shit okay we're just we're both talking but neither of us can hear anybody <laughs> yeah meanwhile my stupid laptop was you know being i don't, Which, I don't know who did it lloyd or fucking carl or whatever. well at one point <laughs> at one point they do both do it yeah well that's exactly oh god uh, I wanted to office space this thing that immediately at that moment. <laughs> now it makes way more sense uh, because I saw you basically like just wing your your headset off. Oh man, it was the worst. And I just thought you were, you know, I was like, you were probably just like, ah, oh, fuck, you know, and kind of, you know, just like, you know. And then after I was like, now hearing that, it's like, oh yeah, I I know what that's like because I've done the exact same thing with that kind of sound where I'm like, Gee, and just like get them off your head as quick as you can. Yeah, that that sucked. Yeah. 
All Whatever. Right. I'm glad it's over. Well, good fun. All right. Well, that's a nice seamless transition. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, Technology man. sucks sometimes. Mm-hmm. 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 Speaking of technology sucking, I discovered nice. something that really made me sad. What's that? All right. So the other night, you know, climbing in the bed and just as a goof, as a goof, Brian. Right, right. I told Alexa, like, hey, Alexa, read me a bedtime story. <laughs> okay. Right. And, yeah. it, and it just picked a random children's book off of Audible. And it was like, I'm going to read you, you know, whatever, Goodnight Moon or whatever okay. off of audible.com and started reading it. And I was like, I can't listen to this anymore because how many shitty parents do that to their kids? <laughs> like, oh, I don't have time to read you a book, but Alexa will. Oh, my God. Now, you know what I'm saying? There is a flip side to it, which could be, you know, how like a kid will be like, read me a story. You read him the story and they're like, read me another one or re- you read it again. And you're just like, fuck you. I have to go to sleep, you know, basically. So at least with Alexa, you, <laughs> you just, you just be have like, a go. Just have Alexa read it to you, you know. But yeah, I see what you're getting at. That's. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, it immediately made me depressed. I'm like, because wow. I, I could just picture parents. Yeah. They're like, I don't have time for this. Oh. Alexa, read Timmy a book. Oh, my God. Because, <laughs> like, I used to love reading my kids' stories because I would do all the voices. Yeah. You know, I get, yeah. you know, get into it because I'm basically just a giant child myself. Right, right. So, I mean, who doesn't love reading different parts of erotica like that, you know? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you know, my, my favorite. And then I met Bigfoot or whatever. <laughs> right. Whatever, whatever. Remember all that big yeah. fan fiction we yeah. were looking at? You mean that I wrote? Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. No. Good job, Ryan. So erratic. Oh, man. Yeah, you're right, though. Now I'm I'm just picturing it because I'm just picturing, like, you know, uh, Mommy, read me a story or Daddy, read me a story and be like, I have Alexa do it. I have Tinder to swipe. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly kind of what when it ran through my head. I was like, oh, <laughs> shitty parents use this. <laughs> you know? Oh, man. I'm sure some someone has to have, right? I mean, because I honestly expected with all the weird Easter eggs they have in Alexa, I was like, oh, this is going to be like something silly. Right. And then it started reading an actual book. And I was like, oh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, so I've got, I, I, Here's what you need to do next time. All right. Is you need to be like, read me an adult bedtime story. Oh. And see what yeah. happens. Or a sexy bedtime story. A sexy bedtime story. Because <laughs> I want to know if, like, <laughs> if it starts reading you some erotica. Right, right, right. <laughs> that's that's hilarious. <laughs> just for my own sake now. I'm just... I don't. I don't have an Alexa device, so I. I mean, I have Siri, I guess. But um, oh, good. I'm just looking at my phone. I'm like, oh crap! I said it. You know, I was waiting for it to trip. Yeah, no, it's listening. <sighs> yeah, they do. But oh man, that's fun though. <laughs> I mean, it's some. <laughs> good to it's know though. It's I, I can get an, a nice soothing bedtime story read to me by a robotic voice. Exactly. Really robotic, now you know what's right? up. Yeah. Uh man. Speaking of uh, robotic, are you? Uh, well, no, you don't have access to HBO anymore, do you? I do not. Damn it. Okay. okay. Why? What's up? Oh, uh, Westworld. Westworld uh, started. Missing. Westworld started back up. God damn it. Yeah. It's on. The... I've been seeing ads for it. I didn't realize it started. Yeah. Up. Last week or last night. I'm sorry. Was episode two. So. So, well, shit. Yeah, because Spurlers for anyone. Did you see season two? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah okay, sure. okay. Well, Spurlers for anyone who hasn't seen the end of season two or doesn't want to hear, but but it, like I'm not spurling anything for you. I'm spurling things for the people who maybe didn't. Yeah, see the fuck end of those people two. though. Yeah. I mean, hey, listeners, I love right. you. <laughs> well, um, um. Oh shit! I I can't think of her name. The main. Lady Evan Rachel Woods, her actual name. I can't think of her character's name now. Shit, Abernathy's her last name. But um, the blonde, yeah, no, the blonde mean. woman. Anyway, well, yeah, you know, broad, the, the, the robot broad. At the end of season two, you know how she's like. It shows her showing up in like the real world, basically. So that's where this is starting with, and it's it's been pretty cool so far. So or at least the first episode, I dug. So. 
Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. So definitely a nice twist because it's not based in the um, the other thing. So, and um, I will say this: if, anyone who's watching, make sure you watch after the credits. There's an after the credit scene. So. Oh really? Yeah. No. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. But dude, I have watched a lot of the things this week. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. I actually have watched quite, quite a bit of stuff, which I'm sure I I need to check my data cap because I'm sure it's going to be angry at me. But um, so well, I watched Westworld, but um, I started watching Dave on FX, which is a little Dicky show. Oh yeah, right, right, right. Uh, which I'm how is that? I'm enjoying it. At first, I was kind of like I don't know because he ba- he's playing himself basically. And he starts as, you know, how he basically is kind of a nobody, you know, um, and how he's getting to meet these rappers and whatnot and trying to make a career for himself, but also is incredibly awkward through the whole process. <laughs> Fair so, enough. Yeah. It is pretty cool. Like one of the scenes, you know, he he goes to meet, I forgot what rapper it is. He's going to meet this rapper and his, his friend is kind of like you know, looking at what he's wearing and he's like, wow, is that peach? You know, like, (laughs) (laughs) Hey man, Riff Raff put out an album called peach Panther. So right. Peach is a thing. Yeah. It was, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I've been, I've enjoyed that, uh, pretty well so far. So nice. Yeah. What I thought the, one of my favorite things for a while on the show was basically like they were doing a thing. Like people kept like his girlfriend or someone else was like, you know, like, come on, like, rap for me, you know, whatever. And and there was no rap. Like, there was no performances in any, like, the first, like, three episodes, I think it is. Or something like, or the first two. I don't remember. And I was like, oh, I hope they keep this running for a while. You know? Right. Because I think it would be really funny if he just does not rap through the whole show. <laughs> that would be great, actually. But they didn't, uh, they didn't, uh, but, you know, um, there's... One where he gets mistaken, kind of for or uh, compared to Macklemore, and it really bothers <laughs> him. And yeah, it's it. There's some really good stuff in there, and it's very like if you like Little Dicky's music because of his lyrics, you'll dig the show. I think because it's very nerdy, awkward, you know, kind of a thing. So, but uh, what's funny is I was looking something up after watching it, and then uh, I stumbled into. I forgot. I watched it again. The documentary of the Save That Money video. Oh yeah, that's classic. Watching him run around trying to see how many places will give him, uh, you know, let him shoot on location for basically free. And right. you know, the best part was at the end when he T Pain texts him to, you know, come be part of his video, and uh, uh, Little Dicky basically they recorded on set of T-Pain's video. Like, he used T-Pain's video for the background for his video for free, which I thought was, that's such a, a hilarious move. You know, T-Pain was in on it, you know, like, him and his, his crew knew what was going on, but it was really funny how, so that gave them access to, you know, uh, a bunch of, you know, women and cars and whatever they had going on at the time. So it was just kind of funny that, you know, it's kind of like, hey, I'm going to come do a spot for you. But while I'm doing that, I'm also going to be recording my own thing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So smart. I love it. The end. Just to let you know yeah. what's going to happen. I love it. The end, too. when he's like, basically, we spent nothing on this video, but I, you know, I got like a six hundred dollars in product placement or something. <laughs> so um, and then what else have I watched? There was something else. There's something I didn't write down, and I can't remember what it is now. Eh. Anyway, but then uh, a couple nights ago, I started watching Curb. Classic. For the first time. Like, I've never oh, watched really? it. Oh, really? You've never watched it before? I watched one episode, and I don't even know what episode. I don't even remember it now. It was just a random episode. So it didn't, you know, I didn't know any of the characters. I didn't know what, I mean, I kind of did. Because after watching Seinfeld, and you watch Curb, it's very first season of Seinfeld, which I mean, you're not wrong. Depending on who you are, is something you like or you don't. And it's funny right. because I think I felt like I liked Seinfeld better after Larry David was the head writer, like where he wasn't the only main writer 
in this second and third and fourth seasons and whatever. Um, but I, I dig the show. The only thing I don't like is I, I love a good catastrophe show where it just gets worse and worse and worse. But right. I also don't like it when you don't get payoffs. Like, mm. you know, like to where it's like if things get bad, bad, bad at some point, there has to be some redemption. And there pretty much never is on this show. It reminds me. Remember, I made the same complaint about Silicon Valley. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, I was like, at some point here, something good's got to happen or I'm checking out because this is just too much. And I I kind of feel that way a little bit about this show. Um, like, I'm not going to check out on it. It's funny enough that I'll, I'll stay on it, too, much like the other. It, it would have been a hard leave because it was funny. It was just like I, I need something good to happen occasionally, and it just doesn't feel like anything good really happens. <laughs> <laughs> So, but I also understand that's kind of the the gimmick, you know. The so, gimmick, yeah, yeah, for sure, right? But anyway, I, I I watched the first season, and uh, you know, I've very much enjoyed. It. It's actually funny. I actually think the final episode of season one is the first real um, payoff. Like there, there's little payoffs, but I think that was the first big one, <sighs> without giving anything it's- away. It's honestly been so long now. Yeah. I don't remember. All right. Well, let me do quick spoilers again. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I know I'm not like, I haven't watched every episode, but I know I for sure watch at least season one. All right. Well, spoilers for anyone who hasn't watched. The The final episode is the one where his wife gets offered um, to be in vagina monologues. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 And she quits it. But then, you know, that other woman gets into an accident with his, <laughs> with his agent. And his wife right. en- ends up getting the role anyway, despite how he fucked it all up, basically, through the whole thing. So, yeah. God damn it, Larry David. Yeah. Just saying. It was like the one where he makes the affirmative action joke to the black doctor in one of the episodes. And, you know, you're just like, oh, dude, dude. You know, like. <laughs> it's so cringy. That's kind of why I like it, though. But But then it was like when they're in the guy's house and, you know. Then that woman comes in and is, you know, basically like, you know, he won't hire anyone of color. He only hires his wife's white friends. And I'm like, oh, geez. But then it's like the doctor still refuses to give his wife the, um, you know, a prescription. And it's like, I mean, what kind of shitty I, I understand what's going on, but that, that's kind of a shit move about a doctor. You know? Yeah, right. <laughs> but anyway. But yeah, I've, I've, I've really enjoyed it, though. It's although I will say one thing absolutely drives me crazy and I've, I'm, i don't know why i fixate on shit like this but i do is i want someone to fucking cut larry david's hair so badly <laughs> you don't like his cotton candy hair dude no do you know the part that bothers me is the the, the peaks in the back where it's like curled at the very bottom it looks like you know when a guy goes a long time without getting a, a neck trim mm-hmm. that's what it reminds me of but his is a deliberate part of his hairstyle and it's like I mean, I, I, you got to have your style, man. I know, but it's like, who's letting him walk out without cleaning him up? You know, like that's what it feels like to me. It bugs the shit out of me. It was like when I used to watch Mary with Children. You see the back of Al's hair where it would like curl in weird, weird ways. And I'm like, who's not cleaning this dude up? Like, I know it's part of the thing. It's just it bugs yeah, the like, shit out of me. Supposed to look like a savage. Oh, I know. It just bugs the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. But anyway. I know that's just me. What's going on here? I don't Sorry, know. I got all kinds of weird shit on my other monitor. There we go. There we go. We're back to back in business. All right. That was weird. All right. I know. Well, it sucks when I'm using a computer. It's on, on the laptop. I should really hook up my other camera, but. Oh, you mean a camera on the laptop? You just yeah. said a computer on the laptop. Oh, uh, yeah, my bad. I'm, I'm, you know, it, it's getting that point where I'm, I'm like, Tony's getting tired. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, oh, man. After steer wrestling my fucking laptop. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh man. Real quick, I don't know. Did you see uh, Gamb- uh, Childish Gambino slash Donald Glover, however you want to download it or listen to it, dropped a, a new album out of nowhere? Oh, I did not see that, yeah, Brian. I, I might have to listen to that tomorrow. I have not had a chance to listen to it yet, but uh, yeah, I guess you can, like, it's on a, like, continuous stream on his website, I guess. Oh, that's fun. Um, but I don't know, you know, if it's on, like, Spotify or anything else at the moment. But, yeah, I was like, oh, well, that's cool, if, you know, and to just randomly yeah, good throw for, that good out there. Him. 
Yeah. Good for that guy. Well, I dig the part, you know, the whole putting it on your uh, website for free stream, too, you know, and then people can just listen to it yeah. if they want to. Yeah. yeah, check it out even. Right. I so, dig that. Yeah, me too. Me too. See, I also watched some stuff this weekend. Excellent. Oh, uh, I watched Joker finally. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah? I know it's got a lot of mixed reviews, but I, for one, thought it was a good movie. Right. Well, you do sympathize with mentally uh, sick white men, so. Oh, well, yeah. You've seen my website. <laughs> yeah. And your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, yeah, it was a very good movie. I enjoyed it. I mean, I know a lot of people are like, that's a joke. story. Yeah. Just walk into it as a movie. Right. You know? Yeah. That's that's so. kind of my thing is I, I really, really feel – like, I really feel like if you didn't dress him as, like, you know, color-wise, the, the Joker from the comic, like, if you just put him in a, any sort of a clown suit, I feel like, to some extent, the movie still works without calling it the Joker. I mean, it could very or, I'm much sorry, be... Joker, it's not the called same the... lines of, like, Taxi Driver. Yeah, that's kind of how... I, mean, I haven't seen the movie, but I've seen various clips and stuff, and it's like... That's kind of the vibe I get is that it was like, well, we're just going to put this skin over this other movie. Yeah. And I kind of feel like if you would just like, I feel like Todd Phillips could have just made this movie. Like, I don't feel like it needed to be a Joker movie, you know, um, but whatever, you know, I, I don't know. I like I said, I haven't seen it yet. I'm just going by the other stuff. And I've, you know, there's been ramblings off and on that they're, they may do a sequel that actually introduces the Joker as though he's more of like an inspiration kind of a thing or something along those lines. So I don't know. Right. Ah. But yeah, no, I, I, I thought it was pretty sweet. I All enjoyed right. it. Well, uh, how many, uh, Joaquin Phoenixes do you give it? Oh man. How many, uh, wait, wait, what? Does, or we could just do this. Does, so you're saying it gets a thumbs up. Oh, hey oh, right. I mean, yeah. I was going to do how many cleft palates, but that's no, way, way nicer. No, we're not. Don't put us in category with Wendy Williams, dude. Let's, no. Would she do something dumb like that? I yeah. don't pay attention. To she made fun of it. Like, she actually pulled her lip up on television. And, uh, oh, jeez. Yeah. You know the worst part about that whole thing was to me? <laughs> First of all, she's she's something else. But anyway... Well, the part that bothered me the most, obviously, was making fun of him. But aside from that, the part that bugs me the most is I don't think that's a live show. I think that's a taped show. Who the fuck let that go through? <laughs> like, That's an excellent question. How does somebody not go, uh, let's cut that out? <laughs> like, nah, it's fine. I mean, maybe She'll she, be all right. her producer credit gives her final cut or something. I, I was like, who thought that was okay? <sighs> well, she's uh, clearly an awful person, as am I. But yeah. yeah, how many thumbs up do I give it? I give it a good four thumbs up. I right. think I I did enjoy it a lot. Nice. All right. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Yeah. It was one of those, one of those things where I'm like, Leah uh, Leah was here hanging out with me over the weekend, and we we're trying to yeah, obviously you can't go anywhere like we normally do. Mm-hmm. So we're trying to figure out things to do. I'm like, oh, well, we watch a movie. I'm like, have you seen Joker? She's like, no. Like, we're seeing it tomorrow then. Be Right. Right. <laughs> Yeah, it was a nice, nice little, yeah. um, nice little movie night. Mm-hmm. We did that, and uh, I, I may have started myself into a new hobby here as well, Brian. Oh yeah, motherfucking perler beads. What? The... Oh, I know what they are now. Yeah, okay, I remember seeing your pictures. I, I don't even understand this. Like, what? It, what do you do with these things? I don't. It was honestly, it was one of these things where her and I we went grocery shopping. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? Why don't we go to like Hobby Lobby? Which Boo. after hearing what's going on with them, I can't really support oh, them anymore. Fuck them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me put it this way: fuck the owner and his wife. Yeah. Like for anyone who doesn't know, really quick, what happened was the the billion billionaire CEO said uh, that people they were going to stay open and that people should continue to go to work because his wife was a head of vision from God. Yeah. Fuck him. Like, also, they don't even the give way, their employees uh, no sick, sick pay. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck them. Yeah, I'm done yeah. with that place. So, 
Not that I was yeah. real big on buying from them anyway, but nah, I'm done. Yeah, fair enough, right? Yeah. But anywho, so yeah. So we did end up going to that heathen store. <laughs> not on a Sunday, though. Not on a Sunday. That's the Lord's Day, bro. Right. Much right. like Chick-fil-A, they are not open on Sundays. Yeah. And uh, we were just looking for, like, an art project to do. Sure. Like, you know, I originally said, like, hey, you know, why don't we get a model? She's like, oh, yeah, you used to do those with Logie. never did it with me. I'm oh, like, well, let's go look at it. So, I thought you meant, like, you know, someone you pay to unrobe and you draw yeah, them. No, in there's some sensual news. My Craigslist had to come through. <laughs> no one's bid on it. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably for the best. <laughs> probably for the best. Yeah. <laughs> but um I've seen uh, your basement. Yeah, it was one of those things where where when she looked at the models and she's like, I'm like, so what do you want to do? Like a plane, a car, a boat? And she's like none of these really you know, she's like, I don't like cars. And I'm like, oh, that's fine. You know, I'm like, yeah. well, you said you want to do a model, that's why we're looking at them. Right. So we just started going up and down the aisles and I was like I was like, Oh, they got these perler beads, which basically you get these little colored like rings, kind of. Okay. They're, they're like cylinders, colored right. cylinders. Yeah. And you get a little pegboard, and you make basically pixel art. Okay. And then you put a piece of parchment paper over, and you hit it with a hot iron, and it all melts together. Ah, okay. I was wondering. Okay, okay. I right? okay. Now I know what these things are. Yeah. Okay. So we bought two kits. We bought a Super Mario three kit, and then a dinosaur kit. As you do. Yeah. As you do. Mm-hmm. And we had a, I mean, we ended up making magnets out of them and they're sticking on the fridge right now. Yeah. It's like, they're they're actually, because I always liked pixel art. Yeah. You know, probably coming up from that 8-bit era. Right. It was one of the things that, like, we all, like, the three of us sat down and did them. We're like, this is actually kind of fun. And it's kind of cool. And I think we're going to be making more of these. <laughs> and then you Google just pixel art and 8,000 patterns come up, you know? Yeah. So can you just buy like just the beads without a pattern? Yeah, you can buy just okay. the beads. Cool. Yeah. Nice. So yeah, that's like we're we yeah we're we've been bouncing around a bunch of ideas of stuff to do mm-hmm. with these stupid beads, and we're like, well, we need to buy more colors. Clearly, yeah, obviously, right? Yeah, but yeah, it's good. Nice. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I've always enjoyed like doing the artsy crafty shit anyway. So mm-hmm. fair enough. You know what are you gonna do? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's, but yeah, yeah. The old perler beads. <laughs> Who knew? Whoops. Yeah. Well, like you said, you know, you got got, got to find something to do, you know, because it's like I've seen there's a, a surge in like um, puzzle sales right now and stuff. You know, I bet people are doing crazy puzzles. Man, I saw somebody the other day doing these fucking whack ass. Like they got puzzles out now that are like two thousand piece puzzles, and they're all white. Oh, fuck that. Or all one color. And I'm like, listen, on one hand, hella challenging, you know. But on the other True. hand, it's like, I want to do this to relax, not to, like, want to flip my table over, you know. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> where I'm at. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I'm done with this. Yeah, like, I, you know, I'm putting together a puzzle. I kind of want to see the picture that comes out of it. Mm. I don't want to just be like, oh, cool. I just made basically Red. the top of my table. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that'd be hilarious, wouldn't it? <laughs> you just it's get so one that weird. get a puzzle that looks like your table. And doesn't that just seem weird to you? Yes. Well, like yeah. I said, I, I I can understand it from the challenge part of it. Like, hey, I want something next level. Forget 3D puzzles. That's not challenging enough. <laughs> yeah, right. What else can we do? Oh, puzzles that look like a million different, you know, beer caps? Pff, amateurs, you know? <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong there. Uh, People do those. So I've oh, seen man. ones that are just like marbles. Yeah, yeah. It's like, uh, geez, whatever. Yeah. I've never been a huge puzzle guy, nah, per se. I just buy the ones that are like five pieces or whatever, you know? <laughs> you're still, still in a table flipping. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, the ones that are for, like, three-year-olds, those are the kind of puzzles I'll do. <laughs> yeah, right. And even then, like you said, flipping that damn table. <laughs> table flip. Oh, man. Good shit, though. So, I know uh, I know both of us have done some uh, video game playing over the last week as well. Mine, mine really yeah. ramped up yesterday because of a... Uh, very, very uh, kind friend of ours who gifted me Stardew Valley. Oh, no shit. Mm-hmm. Well, look at that. What platform are you on, Brian? Xbox. Oh, you son of a bitch. Well, what am I going to do? 
I don't know. Wow. Well, um, what do you think? Oh, I, I I played it for way too long, just like I knew I would. <laughs> yeah, yep, that's how it goes. Could you get into that part where you're just like, all right, I've done blah, 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 I've been playing for, I don't know, 70, 80 hours, and, you know, you're you're just like, and then you're like, oh, crap, it's like, well, if I, you know, I need to do, the, like, you know, I go into the community center, and I'm doing this one part, and it's like, oh, I need this and this, and I know right where they are, so it's like, I'll just real quick, I'll, I'll go to sleep, wake up to refresh my energy. I'll run over, I'll grab that. Bob's your uncle, and I'm done, right? Right. Five days yeah. later. <laughs> yeah, because like, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. it, it is amazing how much, how much of the Animal Crossing vibe that game, or itch that that game will scratch. Right. They are really similar in a lot of ways, you know? Yep, for sure. I hate the fishing, though. Hate the fishing. I'm ter- one. I'm terrible oh, at it. Man. Two. I hate it as well. Probably so I'm terrible at bad it. Bad at it. Yeah, I tried and tried and tried. I think I I caught three fish during the time I played. And I mean, I tried probably thirty times. <laughs> I wow, mean, I'm fair enough. Bad at it. Um, and Garrett told me last night to get uh, the, they have a training fishing rod and he said it's easier but all you can get is basic fish so i tried that right so i go to fish tried five times all i got was was garbage (laughs) (laughs) i'm like well i'm really good at catching garbage you know so um but because my thought on it was like well you know because i'm still early on so i'm not making a lot of money off crops i don't have any animals yet so i i need money to to improve things you know, so it's like, well, and there's not a lot of quests to do. It's one thing I'll give Animal Crossing over that is like it's one thing where where Tom Nook is definitely, uh, you know, a superior situation is that he keeps giving you ways of generating income to pay your debt to make your house bigger and bigger, you know, whereas right. in this that doesn't so much happen. Like you literally have to and like I didn't know crops die off at the end of the month. Oh yeah, so, I feel victim to that as well. Yeah, so I, I had a, a bunch of shit, and then yep, went on and I was all dead. I was about halfway through a cycle. I mean, my stuff was looking you know, like luxurious, and I'm like, "Yeah, son." I'm I'm like, "Okay, I'm gonna go make a bunch," because I had stuff that was you know gonna pay decent amount, whatever. And then the next day, I get up and I'm like, "What the hell happened to my crops?" So yeah. you know, I real quick, this Google, is bullshit. Googled it, and it and I and they were like, "Yeah, at the end of the month," and I'm like, "Oh." like some because first of all i wasted all that money buying uh seeds and then i i didn't get any of that money back because all those crops are dead i was like oh man so (laughs) son of a yeah bitch yeah i mean what are you gonna do right (laughs) yeah for sure right you learn and you move on so yeah it's i've really enjoyed it though like i like playing it it's it's a fun game but um, I just like unlocked the mine, so I'm gonna give that a go before oh, long. Uh, that's that'll that'll keep you busy for a while. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. So, uh, you know, the only thing, like honestly, the only thing I don't like is, um, it feels like it's so weird. Like when you're fishing, the days go by so fast that it's like right. you feel like you can only fish for like in real time. You feel like you can fish for about ten minutes. And if you go any longer than that, it's like, oh, shit, it's dark and my energy level's low. Yeah, I'm about ready to die out in this field right? or so out by like, this ocean or whatever. So it's like even if I eat something, it's still 10 o'clock at night. And I know that your health doesn't regenerate as much after, was it midnight, I think it is, or something like that. Right. So I learned a few things. And I real quick, I just Googled, like, tips for, like, you know, just common shit, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> – but I did, like, I was talking with Garrett last night, you know, and he was like, don't worry about it if you miss something or you, you know, air quote, screw up. Because he's like, you really can't in this game, you know. Yeah, right. That, that's And that's one of the things I kind of like about that Me game, too. honestly. Yeah. So yeah. And again, very much Animal Crossing. You can't really screw up. Worst case scenario, you just have to wait a calendar, in-game calendar year for stuff to come back. Like, you know, I, I got through spring because I played so long yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. So I started summer 
and that's about where I'm at. You know, so and it's cool, you know, doing the town festivals and stuff again, uh Animal Crossing scratches, you know, those same things and uh whatever. I'll tell you the one thing that's driving me nuts. One of the achievements in the game is like go meet everyone in town. There's one person I can't find. I mean, who is it? Do you know? I never mind. I don't, I, I don't know. And that's my thing oh. is like, I don't want to look because if it's like a storyline thing, like there's the one family where the dude's away at war or whatever. Right. And I'm like, well, is it him? Maybe I got to wait till he comes home. Cause it's like, otherwise, like, I don't want to potentially like spurl a storyline thing for myself. That's fair. But at the same time, yeah. it's like, well, if this is something I can wrap up, I want to wrap it up. Cause I just need one. <laughs> like, because I want to wrap it up. Yeah, well, at the two town event things, I went around to every person and talked to them. Right. So I'm like, I, I don't, it's driving me. So it's like the only other thing I could do is pull up like the wiki and go through the characters and be like, okay, that's the person I haven't met yet. You know, but I, like I said, I don't want to do it because I don't want to spurl anything. I mean, I totally get that. So I don't know. But anyway, uh, you know, but anyway, you know, Long, long story long on that i've i've really enjoyed it and really man i wish i would have got it sooner and and i love the fact that since i can't afford to buy a switch in animal crossing this kind of scratches that itch of of that kind of game for me so it's it's That's awesome fair. you know it's awesome that it gives me some of that at least so right yeah that is fair so how about you have you played anything i can't oh. imagine you have man brian let me tell you what. Let me tell you what. <laughs> Let me tell you. Something. I, you know, uh, I was told by some of my coworkers that GameStop was selling Doom a day early, and I already knew I was going to get Doom. Right. Because I, you know, Doom was like my jam. Right. So I picked up Doom. Yeah. And fuck, is that game fun? I'll tell you this. Uh, Xbox has a thing on their dashboard where you can get rewards for doing daily bullshit. And right. al almost every day there's one where it's like, hey, watch a mixer feed, right? And day or two ago when I did it, somebody was playing Doom, and I'm like, man, that game, like, the just, it's a really good-looking game. Yeah, it's... it's Holy shit, a, did it look good. It's a good-looking game. The soundtrack is sweet. It's hard as fuck i watching this dude play i was like wow because wherever he was at you know i don't know shit about the game because i haven't played it but you know there was like the two layers kind of thing and he was getting attacked kind of both ways by like three different things and one was an easy one he killed that pretty fast but then there was this big like spidery thing that fucked him up for a while before he finally took it down <laughs> so yeah it's uh highly recommend doom it's a uh, yeah i mean I've been enjoying the show. What makes it hard is it's like an intense shooter, uh -huh. and it's also an intense platformer. Yeah. Which is not that great to do in first person, you know what I'm saying? Oh, right. Yeah, because... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, yeah, so, I, you know, I was you playing... Can't, you can't Doom swap and... into third person at any point, can you? Nope. Oh, that's, hard no. That's kind of annoying. I, I haven't played the uh, battle mode yet, because the battle mode is interesting. Mm. It's not like your normal multiplayer. It's like one person's the Doom Slayer, mm. and then two people are demons. Oh, okay. That's different. So I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't played that yet, but uh, but regardless. So I'm, I'm playing Doom. I'm just loving life. Playing, you know, Killing demons, listening sure. to metal. Right. Good times. Right. As you do. Yeah. As you do. Mm. And then Saturday rolls around. Real quick, like, what, what system did you get it on? PS4. PS4? Okay. Yeah. I was yeah, just I curious. I, you know, I, yeah. So then, like, uh, you know, Saturday rolls around, and I'm like, I'm talking to Michelle. I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do with Leah today because you know, it's before we had the pearler beans. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm like, because, you know, we normally go out and do stuff, and I, you know, I, I, we're in her basically almost, basically might as well be a lockdown. Mm hmm. I don't want to take her out anywhere just before we were officially quarantined, but right. you know. But like you said earlier, you don't want to run the risks if possible. Yeah, why run the risks? Plus being considerate of others. Also. I so guess. then, you know, Michelle was like, well, you know, uh, Animal Crossing just came out. And I went, yeah. She's like, I'll split it with you. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm like, uh, okay. So I hopped on Target's little app and ordered it through the app and you know went and drove up and picked it up and drove away to even go in the store it was a beautiful right. thing <laughs> yeah that's and uh yeah also a great game yeah i so, mean it, 
Tom, it's, Tom Nook's still an asshole. So Tom Nook is what an asshole. <laughs> we need to what make is, shirts that says <laughs> say that like Tom Nook is an asshole. <laughs> uh, yeah, for sure, right? <laughs> but it's like uh, it's one of those things where um, I think it's almost more relaxing than Stardew Valley because yeah. Stardew Valley is kind of intense. It is a little bit. Thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With you know Animal Crossing, it's just like. There's like no. I'll tell you. Know, you, you don't have here's any, how, you don't have an energy limit. You know, right. for instance, that that is one thing that does kind of suck. But I also understand putting that that it, it's kind of a check in the game. Yeah, you for know? sure. Um, because you know, because otherwise you're literally just like, why would you ever sleep? You could just stay up all night, you know, grinding if you want to. Essentially, you know, so because I did that in Animal Crossing plenty of times where I would just stay up through, the, <laughs> you know. Because I, you know, you don't go to bed in Animal Crossing until you're done playing the game, basically, or you want to save for whatever reason. So, yeah, and that's you know. and that's the weird thing of Animal Crossing is it's, you know, real time. Yeah. Oh yeah, which that's I, right. I, like, I forgot. Yeah. Which I think like like Michelle, she never played it before, so she's having a hard time like wrapping her head around it a little bit. Yeah. Because she was playing the day I think the day we got her made her next day, and she's like. None of these peaches have grown back. It was the next day. Oh yeah. She's like, None of these I'm like, yeah. I'm like, it's, it's in real time. Like you have to wait. So you got to give it like a probably a couple days before the peaches yeah. come back. Right. Well, and there's usually things in the game like certain fish you can only get during certain times of the day and certain and times of the thing. year, and yeah. So yeah. that's going to be a little. That could be a little challenge. That's one thing I will give Stardew Valley an advantage on is if you want to get the night fish you sitting down playing can get it. Right. Right. Whereas in Animal Crossing, there were some of those fish that like you couldn't get until late, you know, before or early, you know, like for, I was saying, like when me and Jen were playing it, there were times where she would jump on with mine and go catch a couple fish. And I would jump on with hers at night because of our sleep cycles. It's like the only time this is available is when I'm sleeping. Right. You know, I'm not going to get up just to get that dang fish. You know, <laughs> and then it's it's interesting because it's like uh, like you know I made a character, Leah made a character. Mm. Uh, we're all on the same island, so I can go visit like other oh, people. I How well, I haven't actually looked at it yet. I bought a house, so I didn't get a chance to play today. Ah. But it's like uh, I mean, it's a great game. Mm. It's just funny because it's the complete polar opposite of Doom. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, I would imagine it's like super intense. Right. Adrenaline, you're like, oh, oh, you're always like dodging and trying to kill everything around you. And then Animal Crossing is just like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you go at your own pace. I'll tell you when it used to get intense for me um, was if by chance you can't play for a few days. Right. Because when you come back, your town is like full needs and stuff. You know? well, I, I think that's the advantage we have is so since we're all on the same island, like Leah won't be able to play for an hour, you know, well, who knows the whole lockdown thing going on. Right. But like I told her, I was like, well, I'll keep up on your area around yeah. your tent, you know, right. she actually, she bought a house too, but it hasn't, you know, she hasn't seen it yet either. Yeah. But yeah. actually she was, <laughs> it was funny cause she was pissed off at us cause she woke up Sunday morning and she's like, I'm going to play some animal crossing. I'm like, all right. She goes on the island, and you can, like, you know, Tom Nook and his little shitty kids buy everything off you. Yeah. Including weeds. Right. Right? But she needed weeds to, um, like, craft certain things, and I've... she was so pissed off at us because we went around and picked all the weeds off the island. <laughs> <laughs> am, am I wrong? I don't think he bought weeds before. I don't think he did either. Okay. I, I was like, I don't remember him buying weeds because there wasn't. There wasn't a ton of crafting, if I remember, in the last one. There's so much crafting in this yeah. one. Well, that, like, yeah. that was one of the things that blew me away about Stardew Valley was how much crafting is in that. Because, oh, you know, at first. first I'm like, well, I need money. So anything, basically, I grew, I would just go sell it. Maybe, you know, I'd keep a little bit of food, you know, for my own energy sake. But I was basically just going and selling everything else, basically. Right. And then I was like, oh, you know, maybe I should keep a few of these things. And it's like, it's real tough because you're like, but I also need the money because if I can expand my house just a little bit, now I can put a coop on it. I can have some animals and make even more money, you know? Right. So it's, you know, it's kind of funny how, you know, you have to make those decisions because of the crafting. Whereas 
in Animal Crossing before it was basically like, do I need this? No, nope. sell. You know, because you don't have so. to. You don't have like you said. There's no energy bar, so you don't have to worry about eating to. Like, oh wow, I'm nowhere near home, and I'm real low on energy. Like, I should probably eat anything to stay alive here, right? Or whatever. The, the, the thing I'll yeah. tell you about Stardew is when you go into the mines, yeah, make sure your inventory is pretty empty, but you bring like a weapon and some food. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I did appreciate the like when you're given your sword moment. Right. How it's very. I mean, spoilers for anyone who's going to play, but it it's straight out of Zelda. Oh yeah, for you sure. Know, where it's dangerous in there, you know. Take this, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Loved it. Loved it. Yeah. But yeah, I'm. Uh, you know, I I was a part of that weird phenomena of Doom and Animal Crossing coming out <laughs> on the same day, same weekend. Yeah. And yeah, I enjoy both of them thoroughly. Granted, I've played more Doom than I have Animal Crossing, but that's fine. That'll change over time. Yeah, for sure. Because just just the nature of the game. You know, yeah, like oh, absolutely. Animal Crossing is just—it's built to be a time suck. So, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. I can't get over the secondary market on the Animal Crossing uh, Switch console. Oh boy, really? Yeah, dude. I've seen some of those on eBay at one point. I don't know if they still are, but they were bringing pretty close to five hundred bucks. Holy cow. Yeah, because a lot of the stores didn't get very many of them. Um, I don't know if it's because of the coronavirus or if it was just whatever it was. But a lot of the stores, like I was told that the Target over here didn't get very many. GameStop, which this GameStop is the busiest one in Toledo. It only right. got eight of the bundles. So, or the wow. not the bundle, the, the console, I mean. <clears throat> yeah. Right. So... I was like, jeebus, that is nuts. And it's like, it's so weird to me. Like, I get it because people want it because it's the colors or what. Like, you know, I, I don't know if you remember, like, the one DS that I had was uh, the red one. And it was it, it was bundled with Mario Kart. It was the only way to get the red oh. one. Yeah, yeah. And when I went to sell it later, it was awesome because that one was, like, the most desired one. So I was right. a- able to get, I think I ended up getting like 50 more bucks than I would have gotten if it was just a plain DS. So I was like, okay, you know, <laughs> like yeah, not, nothing wrong with that. No, I'm fine with it. You know, but the only downside was I had to sell my Mario Kart with it because, you know, the bun package basically. deal. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. So uh, I know Annalise was wanting one of those. So, I, you know, hopefully they'll get them back in stock, I, you know, and neil can or her can grab one but whew. or maybe yeah, they did i, I haven't listened the only, to the episode yet i think that's the only thing i don't like is the co-op in it mm-hmm. really sucks yeah i've i've never really liked the co-op in the i think it would be better if you were playing on two separate consoles that's what i think too i was yeah. like i bet you if i had an hour sw- or like a switch light and an hour copy of this game yeah the it would be great yeah but as it is right it's like basically you could one person's the leader right and you can run around with them, and if you can pick stuff up, yeah, and then you can switch leaders if you want. But yeah. it's like uh, all the stuff you pick up all goes in like a weird box until you go back to your own game, and then you can get it. it's just weird. Oh, okay, that is kind of weird. It was like, do you remember? Was it Fable Three or Fable Two that had the Fable Three had the co-op? Remember where you could play oh, yeah. as like a, I don't know, a thug basically for the person who was playing. It was like. Why can't you just play as your character? I don't know. Boy. Yeah. I mean, you are your character, yeah, but yeah, you yeah. don't have, you only have like your couple tools. I don't know. I don't like. I don't know. The, here's a question. Does the camera yeah. only follow the leader around basically? Correct. Oh, uh, see, I hate, that was one of the, my biggest complaints about the Lego games is if you're playing co-op in those, the camera follows whoever player one is. So if yeah, you're see, trying to do it, something separate, you, the camera just can't. Do that. It can't. Yeah, it can't yeah. do it. And it's like I'd rather give me a split screen instead. That way we can each that, that, control. And then maybe if there's like a boss battle, it merges into one or something would be kind of a cool thing to do. But right. Otherwise, it was like, yeah, give me split screen instead. That way we can do what we each want to do and come back. Split together. screen or die. Yeah, that's what I say. Yeah, especially for couch co-op. You no, know? for sure, right? Like definitely, obviously, you know, if you're playing online, it's no big deal because everybody's got their own. Uh, 
TV or whatever. But even then, I wonder, does it do that? I wonder if you go visit someone else's town. That I don't know. I mean, my uh, my nephew's uh, wife actually saw a post I put up online over the weekend. She's like, oh, and she sent me her friend code. Mm-hmm. You immediately you know, so. blocked her, right? Yeah, good block. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, obviously in that game, you definitely want to go visit other towns because there's usually something you can't get in yours you can get in someone else's. Yeah, exactly, yeah. right? Or whatever. So Yeah. Yeah. What would be um, cool is if it was a little more based on I don't know, kind of like where you are, like if, you know, like say they lived in a country where it's winter right now or whatever, or, or you know, a colder or a summer, I mean, you know, it'd be kind of cool if you left your winter one and went to a summer one. I don't uh, know yeah, if that, that would happens. be pretty neat, actually, if they could figure neat. something like that out. Yeah, but, you know, whatever. Yeah. That's probably too much technology. Yeah, probably. I'm asking probably. I'm asking for too much out of a very realistically a very rudimentary game that just has deep tools in it. You know? <laughs> yeah, yes. Like the actual game and gameplay are very basic, but everything else is not. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. It'd be like one of the wrestling games coming out that gives you like a really really deep creative guy, but you can only do like punch kick grab yeah punch clip maybe a <laughs> suplex yeah <laughs> although i'm not gonna lie if that happened i I'd be, I'd be pretty much be into it actually fire pro wrestling kind of has that mentality but it's you know it's definitely deeper because you have to get the timing right and all this other stuff so right anyway anyway yeah all right so you got anything else i think that's all i got uh and yeah that's that's about what i got myself all right well let's move into the uh q of the w i guess eh hell yeah i uh yeah i have our facebook answers oh, pulled up actually right. and you have to give an answer for last week too i do i do don't i well uh... it's funny the one that like everyone answered the sound effects one we had one person really answer the secondary yeah. q of w i figured that one was going to be a little uh a little tougher um, so I, I would have to say the thing I hated to learn, but I'm glad I did, mm-hmm. was basic house cleaning. Okay, that's fair. Because that sucks learning, and it still sucks doing. <laughs> True. Well, but once it's done, you're like, oh, yes, this is much better. <laughs> right. Like, I I posed the question to my mom just to be right. curious what her answer was. And her answer was doing the dishes, basically. Oh, so, you, you know, because she hated doing them. Um, but obviously she's glad she learned and knows how, I know it seems like a pretty simple skill kind of a thing, but it's, you know, we've talked plenty of times on how people don't seem to, I mean, this man, some of the stories I'm hearing from people when they're like, well, I don't know about how to do this or that. And I'm like, Oh my God, like, how have you made it this far in life? (laughs) Yeah, I know. Right. I've I've gotten that too. Yeah. Like, I don't know how you've survived this long. Yeah, or even just, you know, we've talked on here before, basic cooking stuff. Like, people right. are like, oh, the store didn't have this. And I'm like, well, use blah, you know. And they're, oh, I didn't know you could do that. And it's like, like, okay, here's a great tip for anyone. If you're going to the store and you're looking for something for a recipe, if you can't get that, use your Google machine and type in, what can I substitute for blank in blank? Yes. You know, obviously That's there's pretty certain... much all you need to do. Yeah. And there's already somebody who's asked that question probably. So there you go. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so what we got here, Brian, is we got our our boy, our boy, Philip, which I saw a nice little commercial from, uh, um, oh God, I'm drawing a blank on the brewery. Oh, shit. I can't He's remember. 40. Yeah. From East 40 Brewing about him, uh, you know, taking orders to deliver mm-hmm. beer or, in, you know, take out beer, basically. So good on those guys. Right. I'm pretty sure he delivers in just a Speedo, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, if you're going to do it, do it right. Right. It's very lewd. <laughs> very rude mm-hmm. and lewd. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he says his uh, anything from uh, the video game sound effects is anything from the Pokemon games on the Game Boy. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. And then the thing he hated to learn, but he's glad it is, is he hated learning that beer can be craft. Thus, my wallet threatens me every week. <laughs> at, uh, I it was every week at gunpoint. Oh, and, they, and then what? And I, I Philip, I'm confused. They just adds wife at the very bottom. Maybe I'm sleepy. <laughs> 
<laughs> Anywho, <laughs> I murdered that Philip. I'm sorry. Yeah, but I totally understand because I've actually had people do that to me, and they go, "Damn it! Why'd you get me to craft beer?" Yeah, yeah. Because you know it does get expensive. Mm-hmm. Well, that's why you you know you you just even when you start drinking craft beer, it's like you you know we mentioned before, right? There's time and a place. Time and a place for the other stuff, and it's like like right now, people worrying about money. If you're still trying to drink some beers, maybe I, I support it local, but also I fully understand if you're buying thirty packs of Keystone, you know. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> I totally exactly. get it. Uh, so Michelle, she says Super Mario Two sounds of of the bird faces opening. <laughs> That's funny because I know I know exactly what she's talking about, like the yeah, the sound go. effects, yeah. And then uh, oh, Jeff okay. from Hobie says Pac Man dying, <laughs> which that's a pretty classic, yeah. iconic sound. Too. Honestly, really, pro- for me, probably any Pac Man sound would, you know, pretty much be pretty recognizable. There's very sure, few sounds in right? it, you know. One, I mean, because it doesn't have a ton of sounds, and they're, you know, especially like people from our generation who played those games, you know. Yeah. Like, we didn't have a bunch of games to pick from for a while, so. <laughs> yeah, also true. You know, there were, like, four games at the arcade, basically. No, there's more than that. But a lot of them had a very, like, they only had a few sounds because that's all it was. Like, Fluffy Bunny and Ash and I talked about this the other night, about how mind-blowing it was. Like, do you, I don't know, I'm not saying the exact one, but do you remember when games first had, like, real music in them? Yeah, like Not Tony Hawk Pro it. Skater or something like that when that yeah, came out, and you're like, was whoa, Tony Hawk. yeah, that's just uh, or Madden when they first started, you know, it was like, oh my god, this is like, you know, or when games started having real voices in them, not the yeah. kind of, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> different different sounding beeps for right. different characters, yeah, or you would just hear like it would show like the 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 dialogue and you push the button and it would just be like you could hear it like going. As it was, you know. (laughs) Delirious. Yeah. (laughs) So, yeah, that stuff was, or, you know, because we went even further with it, like even talking about like Final Fantasy VII, like remember those cutscenes and how we were just like, dude, you got to see this kind of shit. And now you watch them and you're just like, yeah. Like, this is terrible. <laughs> These are not great. <laughs> this very... don't hold up at yeah. all. Polygons are not as cool as we thought they were. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, so you got any more? Or is... That's that's all, all right. we got, man. Well, over on uh, Twitter, Heno uh, said for the first one, he doesn't have one, like the video game sound. Um, he's, you know jerk i guess i don't know um <laughs> and dude how dare you sir how dare you not dude, one for us his skill or thing that i learned that you know i hated learning but i'm glad i did was i mean it's hands down the winner even though like him and i even talked about it and he even mentioned that it may not be exactly in the spirit of what we were going for but his answer is that i'm an alcoholic oh hmm, that's right? pretty good yeah um because it, it's not, like, generally what you would consider a life skill. But, like, I told him, I said, I feel like it is, but it's in a backdoor way. And yeah, that right. once you realize you're an alcoholic, you started learning tools to not be an alcoholic and that have improved your life. So, yeah, absolutely, you know, and without that, who knows, you know, you, who knows what, what would, you know, what way things would have went. <clears throat> So yeah, I'm not mad at that answer. No, I'm not either. And I, like when I first read it, I was like, "Oh, like what a punch in the gut!" In the best way, in like a nailed it kind of thing, you know? Yeah, right. Even though, like you said, it's not. We're meaning more, you know. Like I, mine for anyone who doesn't remember or didn't listen was, you know, like changing a tire or learning that kind of stuff because that's not a per, what kind of person I am. I'm I'm not a car person at all. So. Um, you know, it was probably like pulling teeth for my dad to teach me because I'm probably making <laughs> smart ass comments the whole way. And he's like, you know, probably wanting Wants to, just... to just strangle the shit out of you. <laughs> yeah, just wing me in the head with the tire iron. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Sorry. Right. Over in the emails is uh, Fluffy Bunny Ash says. Uh, oh, shoot. Oh, for the, the skill she, or the thing she learned that she hated, but, you know, is glad she did, was her job. 
uh, learning accounting and financial planning is so fucking boring, but I'm glad I know it because, you know, it's how you pay the bills. So I pay the bills. There you go. Right. And I, I fully yeah. can understand that one. That one seems like a really good one because, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, for sure. Not the most exciting classes when you're learning that stuff or, or just someone teaching you however it is. I don't I don't know. I don't know what the certification for it is. Um, for video game sound effects, get ready for the longest answer ever. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. I'm so, pressed. so, so many. And I, and I really feel like most of us, this is kind of applies because most of us that, that are game lovers, we've played so many games that there's mm. something from a lot of different games that really stands out in our heads. Uh, but she says, you know, Mario's jumps and woohoo's and the one up and Yoshi's tongue noise. Um, Fair enough. You know, she says 30 years playing those games, they're inescapable, which truth. Uh, she says, same for Zelda, the secret discovered jingle, the open chest sound, the grunts when attacking, <laughs> which I forgot about the grunts. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, <laughs> Uh, again, same could be said of Kirby and his inhale. Any sound ever from Pokemon, the ships and the dialogue from Star Force or Star Fox. I'm sorry. It's says slippy going Fox. Hell, I don't remember oh, God. that. Yeah. <laughs> I do remember that. <laughs> the announcer from Smash Brothers, the countdowns and engines from F-Zero. Um, you know, it's funny. The racing game, the one that sticks out in my head was uh, Pole Position that we used to oh, play yeah. at Major Magic. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> then, yeah. <laughs> that's literally it. Like, you know, aside from the wreck sound, that's pretty much the only real sound effects in the game. Um uh from but she said, you know, oh, and the the start the engines and stuff from Mario Kart. Uh she put basically if it's from a Nintendo property, it's stuck in my head somewhere, which very yeah, much makes sense. Noticed. <laughs> yeah. Doom, especially the door opening noise, which you mentioned. Uh, oh, says, yeah. she's like, that's used so much. Even Star Wars has used that sound effect. Yep. Uh, the Sega, both the scream and the gentle Sega one. Uh, all the Mortal Kombat stuff, you know, toasty, get over here, finish him, etc. cetera. Uh, and she says, as far as stuff not mentioned by you guys, the mining, building, and villager sounds from Minecraft, which, yeah, you wouldn't hear that from me because I've barely played that game. Um, the sound of collection Lego pieces and building in Lego games. That was one I didn't think about, but yeah, that's one that once you play right. that game, that, that sound effect will be stuck in your head. Uh, Simglish, the language they speak in the Sims. Oh God. <laughs> Fair enough. Or also animal crossings language, which yeah, that I, you know, makes sense to me. Uh, the sound of the animus loading screens in Assassin's Creed and the shink of the hidden blade. Uh, the sound of an alerted guard in metal gear solid. Oh, nice. Yeah. Wing. Yep. <laughs> Wing. Yep. <laughs> Any sound effect from Fallout or Skyrim, especially Pit Boys activating in Fallout, level up chant in Skyrim. This this next one might be my favorite one. Shredder's laugh from TNMT, Turtles in Time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. And she goes, I could legit go on, but I think that's enough. It's quite the list. It's quite the myself. list. Well, she did say... Longest answer ever, so. Yeah, that was a good one. Um, and Cheeto Bandito answered, uh, for video game sound effects, uh, Altered Beast punch sound effect. It had sort of a base, beastly vocal, raw with unch, <laughs> like hitting a bag of flour. <laughs> 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 um, what did I hate learning, but I'm glad I did? Humility. Those were some hard lessons for sure. Good answer. Man, I know we're, I know we're a good answer. I know, right? <laughs> Man, y'all y'all went for the, the, the strong. Like, you know, we're over here just tapping the button. They're holding – they're doing that long press shit. Yeah, I know, right? You know? Like, shit, man. And making the apps vibrate and shit. I know, right? Yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> you know what's funny is I actually reminds me of – I can't remember what game – there's been games, though, like when you hold the button down – and then the controller will start vibrating because basically it's charged up for whatever. Oh, yeah, for you know? sure, right? So, yeah. <sighs> All right. Well, I don't have a Q of the W for this week because I forgot to look for one. So I guess back to the songs. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Well, I do have that list, but I don't feel like opening it. So That's all right. We'll do a, we'll do a song one this week. Okay. We're going to have to skip that one because it's a person to your left thing, and I don't really like those as well. So, Um. Wow. 
play the best song you've heard in the last 48 hours. Mine's real easy because oh, there's only really one I've listened to. <laughs> All right. Mine is, uh, well, there's two, I guess. I'm sorry. My my first an- the first answer that popped in my head was um was it Let Me Breathe by Action Bronson. Okay. Because I mean, as you know, before we started recording, I was actually <laughs> like I actually did the Let Me Breathe for a minute. So, um, and my second one is Save That Money, Save That Money by Lil Dicky. Because oh nice, I, I just watched that video so well, yesterday. So, them's my answers. Oops, I think that is D A T. It is. There it is. Featuring T Pain. Yep. All right. Um, well shit, I was listening to like a lot of classic rock earlier today. Uh-huh. And uh So what like Nirvana? That, yeah. That actually kind of offends me, honestly. All right. <laughs> when it's like uh, you know, it's like oh classic rock and it's stuff like Rage Against the Machine and shit on there. Right. It's like uh Really? I guess. R- 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 this is what we're doing now? Really? Yep. Yeah, we're old, Tony. Get <laughs> used to it. <laughs> I know, it's just fucking weird, bro. Yeah, it is. It is. Oh. Oh, but no, 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 no. All right. I mean, I guess unless right. you wanted to put, like, the Stardew Valley soundtrack, because <laughs> I've certainly heard a lot of that in the last two days. I mean, fair enough. But anyway. Uh, but I, I was listening to um, freaking uh, ZZ Top Radio. All right. You know, and Leonard Skinner, the Ballad of Curtis Lowe came up. Wow. And I forgot how good that song is. Wow. That is definitely not an answer I would have expected there. I'm just saying. Yeah. All right. So, Ain't yeah, it. Leonard Skinner, the Ballad of Curtis Lowe. All right. Yeah. There you go. There you go. So, I guess uh, what we're asking is, you know, what's the best song you've heard in the last 48 hours, y'all? Yeah. Oh, I was waiting for you to do the show me what you got thing. Oh, it's my, you know what, Brian, after all that shit, my soundboard died. Oh, pff, I forget it. Then. There we go. Hold on, it's back up. Uh, you know, here you go. Fucking thing sucks! <laughs> Just for my computer right there. Right. Do right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. <clears throat> well, there you go. That's That's the program for this week. Um, head over to saltylanguage.com check out all the things click the links check out the past episodes uh, click the links to our I almost said sponsors our networks uh, I mean we could take some sponsors if people are offering yeah the Tangent Bound Network uh, and Danger watch your back Danger Entertainment hell yeah yeah, so go check those networks out. Find some other podcasts you may dig. Since I know you've got the time. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Uh, while you're all quarantined up, why don't you catch up on a little salty language action? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, go to saltylanguage.com. We have all the archives. Yep. It's it, you know I was actually uh, talking to Cheeto, I think it was last week, and he was, yeah, I sent you that little thing about that weird Reddit post. He was asking, yeah. like, oh, how come you guys have a graphic now? Amazon. I'm like, boom. He's like, oh my god, I still got some more catching up to do, I guess. Yeah, I was like, we See, did. even if you're a long-time listener, there might be episodes you're not aware of. Yeah. Boom. So you gotta go back and check them all out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. you know, if you've done all that already and you still have free time, uh, you know, go check out The Crazy Life also. The show I'm on with, you know, Heno and our, our pal Jen. And we talk about mental health and just mindfulness and just you know trying to trying to just be a better person overall so i mean it's a good thing to, to try to do yeah i mean i guess being a good person is not always the easiest thing to do no it certainly is not no certainly is not like cheeto said about the humility and stuff you know it's it's a tough lesson to learn sometimes so. sometimes yep mm-hmm. so uh yeah if you want to reach out to us you can find us on twitter at salty underscore language you can find me at tsunami you can find me at monotony and you know we're also on facebook and instagram and kind of on snapchat and that's about it <laughs> youtube even though we don't oh, put yeah, anything yeah, new YouTube's. on there in a while yeah. we got uh we got to do that streaming situation again right get back into that yeah 
So there. Well, yeah, yeah, we're all over the place, basically, is what we're saying. Yeah, and if if you want to find those links, they're all on uh, saltylanguage.com. Indeed. <laughs> I, can, I can talk, I promise. Uh, so I guess until next week, um, you know, have beer, you'll be fine. Man, stay salty and sanitized. Yeah, right. <laughs> Wash your hands and your ass. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs>